dad in our next story is quite possibly the luckiest man alive. His life was saved by a group of quick-thinking strangers and now almost a year down the track, he went on a pursuit to find and thank the heroes that gave him another chance. I honestly, and it sounds a little bit naff, but I thank God that I'm alive every day. Sean Purcell should be dead. Nine months ago, the 38-year-old father of four was on a morning run when he suddenly collapsed on the beach. 500 metres in, my heart stopped, started pooling with blood, um, which caused me to die. Luckily, Sean wasn't alone on the beach that day. Sean was jogging, and then next time I looked up, he was in the water, and that's when I ran, ran over and, and gave him assistance. I was uh, about three quarters of the way through my run, heading home, and approached them, and pretty soon was, you know, assisting with the CPR. And we got a call from Intergraph to say there was a deceased male on the beach, and <laughs> who had uh, succumbed to a heart attack, possibly. Thankfully for me, three of them were from a local surf club. One of them was an ex-nurse. One of them was ex-army. It was just an amazing set of occurrences that, that, that kept me alive when I shouldn't be here. Incredibly, those 12 strangers kept Sean alive for 45 minutes until paramedics arrived. I was airlifted to the Geelong Hospital where I was rushed into ICU and put into a five-day coma. And my wife and children were told that if I was going to survive, that there's a good chance that um, I would have zero brain function. I didn't believe it, to be honest. I didn't um, think that he could possibly be brain damaged and I didn't believe that he was going to die so we held on to that little bit of hope. After a week, Sean woke from the coma miraculously with no brain damage. Oh, the moment he opened his eyes, I will never forget that. And I could see all of the team around him, the neurologist and everybody, and he just turned around and looked at me, the neurologist, and put his thumbs up. People who collapse like that out of hospital, you're lucky if you get maybe one in ten of them getting fixed up, getting to hospital, coming out of it with a good cardiac and neurological outcome. So he's a very fortunate fellow. Realising just how lucky he was, Sean was determined to find the incredible strangers from the beach that day. So I decided to just write a post and I'd hoped that that post would bounce around our little town here in Torquay. The Facebook post was shared 150,000 times and within hours he'd found the heroes that saved his life. There they are, mate. Oh my God, so bloody nervous. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just looks like a totally different person. To be able to just, you know, acknowledge today in real life is really good. Thank you doesn't cut it. I really, I can't verbalise what I feel and how much love I've got for you guys and, and everything you did that day. It was just amazing and I'm just so thankful that you guys exist. So, thank you. That's OK. I think we need a group hug. Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I couldn't explain the gratitude that I have and the emotion that rises when I think of these people um, going about their Sunday that, that stopped and did something absolutely miraculous. When you're, when you're kind to someone and do something mm. lovely, it, it lifts your spirits. Imagine walking around knowing, yeah, I've actually saved another human being's life and yeah. I'm not in the medical profession. That's yeah. phenomenal. And then when he walks in, they clapped him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, like, I like the woman who said, yeah, he looks totally different. It's like, yeah, he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. You're looking, want him to look different. That's a good thing. Yeah. It's a very lucky it's group breathing. of people to get. Oh, oh yeah. Right. What are the chances of that? Like, so if it was me and my mates, we'd go, oh, great, we've got five plumbers and a comedian. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so, so many things. This is such an amazing story. Yeah. And he clearly feels like he's had such a second chance and he really wants to use it. And he's using it well, actually, because he's recently set up the Unite Project, which is something to help homeless youth get off the streets and into proper housing. So, well done him. Right. If you want to find out more about that, you can head to the Sites We Like page on our website. Lovely story. Here's another break. We'll see you on the other side with Fiona O'Loughlin.